Hello everyone, welcome back to BBAQW. Today, me and Raj are going to be showing you guys how to get the Dragon of Time class, which we just farmed on stream. It's very fun. Uh, it's an interesting farm, different from most of them. And uh, it's also a very good farming class, as well as a soloing class. So let's get to it. So, the first thing you'll want to do is slash join Yolger. And once you are in Yolger, you want to click on this dude right here, Kronar. Go to his quests, and there will be a long list of quests. Uh, because we have already done them, we do not have the quest list pulled up, but the first quest is called Acquiring Ancient Secrets. So once you have accepted that quest, you'll need 30 lost hieroglyphics, 1 Myths of Lore, 100 Historia pages, 1 Frost King story, and 1 of your own memories. So the first thing you want to do is slash join mummies. And once you're in mummies, all you have to do is kill the mummies for your lost hieroglyphic. Um, I believe it's 100% drop, so all you have to do is kill 30 of them. After that, you need um, Historia pages from the enemies in slash join time library. So you just go slash join time library. Once you're here, you just want to kill the random stuff around. Um, they'll drop multiple pages, so you don't need to kill 100 of them. They'll drop like 5 or 6 at a time, so it's not bad at all. And they're also super weak as well. So, the next thing you'll need is a copy of Myths of Lore from Maya's shop in slash join librarian. Once you're here, I'm going to click on Maya, go to be a lore master, and then go to lore master rep shop. And once you're here, you can get the Myths of Lore. Now, let me uh, check on this mind, right now. Uh, this uh, item requires, uh, I think, four Lore Master to get, so you need that. Yep, and Lore Master is not that hard to get at all, so, and you only need rank four, so it's not bad. And it's only 25,000 gold. Alright, so the next thing you'll need is um, to defeat the Frost King in Slash Join King Cole to earn the information he holds, which is also called Frost King's Story. So, Slash Join King Cole... Once you're here, you want to head up to the boss, and I believe this wasn't a 100% drop, but he's still a very easy boss. I think he only has, let's see, yeah, he only has 100,000 HP, you'll just have to kill him like 1 to 5 times, and you should get it. Uh, keep in mind, um, if you're at this point and you're thinking, oh wow, I have to kill King Cole 5 times, this is not the farm for you, this is, um, it gets very difficult. You have to kill a lot of heavy hitters a bunch of times, so I would highly recommend doing this with some friends or doing this on Arctic servers in highly populated rooms. Alright, and then finally, for acquiring ancient secrets, you need to get your own memories, and you have to slash join Bacon Cat U. Once you're here, you just fight yourself, and you will get your own memories. This one's uh, pretty easy, nothing too hard. And yeah, that's how you do the first quest, and then you'll head back to Yulgur. Alright, once you're back in Yulgur, you want to go to the quest, and the second quest will be time to train yourself. You'll need Desloth's Destructive Aura, Nytheria's Patience, uh, Gorgold's Luck, Victorious's Dignity, and uh, Tagoras's Tenacity. So the first thing you'll want to do is slash join Dragon Challenge. And you'll want to fight Desiloth. So I'm gonna head in here and slay Desiloth. You'll have to kill Desiloth the final. Only 275,000 HP, and I think it is a 100% drop, so it's not that bad at all. And um, the next thing you'll need is to kill Gorgold in slash join Greed. Now this one you'll have to do a bit of walking, but it's not that bad. And um, just to talk about the prerequisites here. For the final quest, you will need the um, Mysterious Egg. And the Mysterious Egg is what you get from getting all seven keys from the seven deadly dragons. So, if this is your first time in Greed, I would recommend killing the boss until you get the Key of Greed, because you'll need the key for each of the seven deadly dragons. More on that later. 
so you just want to walk down to the bottom you have to avoid the bear traps and the pits and stuff so be you can careful about uh, go that. to me there's a faster way of getting to it if you've already completed the place you can uh click on Cairo crag and then you can just walk forward yep so i'm just gonna slash go to raj and here is the boss that you're gonna have to kill so you're gonna need to kill him and I'd also recommend killing him until you get the key of greed. Okay, so the next thing you'll need is the Victorious's Dignity, and that is in slash join dark plane. Once you're here, you just have to go to the end. Now keep in mind for most of these places, you're gonna have to complete the storyline. Now I believe in this place, we just slash go to somebody. But in some of the places, you actually can't. So this is one of the rooms where you can slash go to someone. Now, I'm not sure if we can actually get to the boss, but we'll have to see. Okay, so you're going to have to complete the storyline in here and the storyline before it. But at the end, there will be a boss, and it will be um, victorious. And it's pretty easy. So you're just going to have to kill it until you get um, its dignity. Or you can just have a friend who's already completed it go to the boss, and you can just slash go to them. So the next thing you'll need is um, Tigoris's tenacity, and you want to slash join Tigoris. Oh. Slash join Trigoris, my bad. Once you're here, you want to head up to Certain Doom, and you're going to have to kill him. And then after that, you're going to have to go to the next room. So let's see. So let's kill him, Raj. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just get his ass. So we're going to use Dragon of Time to kill him here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we're making pretty quick work of him. So after you kill him, you get into this cutscene. And... Your game breaks, and then you have to kill the dragon. And yeah, um, this is a broken part of AQW, <laughs> mm -hmm. where your sometimes, game literally breaks. Yeah, sometimes it just does this thing where you're literally stuck, um, like hitting skip and next forever, and then you just have to re-log and do it again and pray that it works yep and you so, have to kill the second dragon yeah that after that cutscene, there will be another boss uh did your game break roger no yeah it did okay well after you kill that first guy there's going to be a second dragon you're going to have to kill him three times so after that the final thing you have to do is kill nytheria and slash shine blinding snow can you go me? i'm just going to show them the way you just walk past the gem rolls and here's Nytheria. Super easy. 14,000 HP. Okay. So, so far, so good. Uh, very easy quest so far, but trust me, it gets quite harder. Quite a bit harder. So we're going to head back to Yolgar. And you'll have the third quest, which will be called Do You Have Time? Now, um, at this point, yeah, you will have to be level 31. So if you yeah. aren't level 31, you won't be able to do this quest. So, mm -hmm. um, you will need the Golden Blade of Fate, which we have a guide on in our channel, which I will link in the description. That is a completely different thing. Um, it's basically a prerequisite that you need. I will have the link for the guide to that in the description. But the second thing you need is the Pink Blade of Destruction. Now, to get that, um, Raj, would you like to explain that part? Uh, yeah, sure. So, basically, you need to obtain it from a quest from... Stellaria in the tech, uh, fortress. tech Fortress. And keep in mind, up to this point, you will have to complete the entire previous storyline. And it's like four or five different rooms. It took about an hour. It's not that bad, but it's kind of annoying if you haven't done it. Yeah. Then so you can go to her, and what's it? what is uh, the sword under? Farming quest? Uh, yeah, and then forging a friendship. Yep. And here, for forging a friendship... Let's go and go over the requirements for this quest. Now, this uh, this part takes a little bit of time, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not that bad compared to some of the other stuff you have to do. But for forging a friendship, you'll need um, Fuchsia Dai, however you say that, and you'll just have to slash join tower. 
Once you're in tower, you want to head over to Baleen. Here she is. Go to her quest. And um, the final quest, if you're a member, you can do Dying for Gemstones, and you need Garnet Gem and Spinal Gem. Now, to get those, um, what you have to do is you have to kill the Lich of the Stone and Gargoyles. So for the Lich of the Stone, you can just go to your map, go to Darkovia, go to the forest. Once you're here, head over to the boss, which is right up here. Uh, keep in mind that um, this uh, 50 die quest, I think it's uh, member Yeah, this only. quest is member only. If you don't have a membership, um, the best way to get the die is to do the Pink Alicious Prowl, where you'll need to kill Anglerfish and um, Chaos Vultures. So that's not that bad, but this is by far the easiest one because it gives you 50, and we're just going to show you how to do this. So you want to kill the Lich of the Stone to get your um, Garnet Gem. And you want to go back to your map, you can go to Cheryl Valley and go to the Cornelis Ruins. Once you're here, you just want to kill the gargoyles. It's super simple. So, that is how you get your um, 50 Fuchsia die, or however you say it. Next up, you need 500 Spirit Orbs. Now, I'm going to link a video in the description of our Blinding Light of Destiny guide, because that is how you get Spirit Orbs. Um, if you don't know... We can slash join Necropolis right now, and I'll show you guys. You have to go to Artix here, and you have to go to his quest. You'll have to complete all of the quests and basically go down the Blinding Light of Destiny line. Um, if you haven't done this already, I would highly recommend that you do the um, Blinding Light of Destiny stuff. So if you go to Finding Fragments quests and to the Broadsword, you will see that it gives you 100 Spirit Orbs per turn in, but you need the Broadsword. Link in the description, it will explain all the stuff for getting Spirit Orbs and Blinding Light of Destiny. So, the next thing you need is five Zealous Badges. Now, the Zealous Badges are from the Tech Dungeon, so you want to slash join Tech Dungeon. Now, if you can, if you are at the point where you can accept this quest, you will already have this area completed, so you won't have to worry about that. You just want to go to Requests, and go to Solemn Favor. And you'll need... 30 Paladin Armor Scraps, and 7 Immutable Dedication. So you just want to go to the end, and I will show you the best room to farm this stuff. So, um, you will have to kill, you will have to get 5 of these, you'll have to turn in this quest 5 times, but it's not that bad. Uh, you just have to kill a boss uh, 35 times, and you will have to kill uh, these guys, um, however many times. 150 so. times. 150 times so we're just gonna kill them here and you can head to the next room you know as you're making your way over um, as you're making your way over you're just gonna get some of the stuff that you need but you only need to be in the last two rooms now ignore the combos that I'm doing still working on <laughs> figuring out how to use this class but yeah, so this is the final room right here. Um, I'd recommend just farming the guys in this room. But um, after you have your 30 armor scraps, you have to kill this boss five times, or seven times. And then you have to complete her quest right here. A total of five times for the five uh, zealous badges. Okay, so the next thing you need for forging a friendship is the five unicorn essence. And this is from the boss in Underground Lab B. So we're just going to slash join underground lab B. I think that's what it is. Yep. And at the end, after you complete the storyline from Artix, um, there will be a unicorn. So yeah, just complete these quests. Um, they shouldn't take long. We just went to a friend at the end, but you'll have to kill the unicorn. Um, let's see, how many times was it? Five times. Um, it does have quite a bit of HP, if I recall, but it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. So the final thing you need for forging a friendship is 5 gem power, and that is from the ultra battle gems in the same room as the unicorn. So as you're killing the unicorn, you can kill the battle gems, you just need to kill 5 of them, super easy. Alright, so that is how you get the um, pink blade of destruction. So then you can head back to the tech fortress, or 
yeah, attack fortress and get your pink blade of destruction. Okay, so the next thing you need for the Do You Have Time quest is a cross air stabilizer, and that is dropped from Lakin in slash join evil war null. Now, this one is kind of annoying just because it's a long walk, <laughs> but I'm sure if you've done any Nolgeth farming, you've been here plenty of times. So basically, we just go to the end. This one is a lot easier. Um, the quest from this point on, uh, the Do You Have Time quest, just gets um, easier after you get the Pink Blade of Destruction and the Golden Blade of Fate. Because those are pretty hard requirements, I'd say. Well, not necessarily a hard, but, but more time, like consuming. time consuming more than anything. Yes. Okay, so here we are at Lakin. Kill him until you get the Cross Era Stabilizer. So the next thing you need is um, to borrow Chaos Lord's um, book, uh, Chaos Lord Iota, and his book on chronomancy. So we just want to slash join time space, and you want to kill the Chaos Lord until you get the drop. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a hundred percent drop, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, keep in mind you gotta complete the span yep. before getting to the sky. Indeed. Okay, so the final thing you need is the time string, time stream string times 100. And to get that, you want to kill the time stream riders in slash join arena. Uh, this one didn't take too much time, but the best room from what we found was just this room right here. Uh, we believe there's only one in each room, and they do drop like, f I think like one to five, so it's not mm -hmm. that bad. At most, you'll have to kill him 100 times, and he only has 2,000 yeah. HP, so it's not bad at all. Okay, so that is how you do the Do You Have Time quest. Now, after that, you want to head back to Yolgur, and you can accept the fourth quest called Through the Ro uh, Through the Wormhole. Now, for this quest, you need Time Loop Broken, 100 Anomalies Silenced, 50 Chrono Lords Stopped, and Is This a Wormhole? So, uh, the first thing you want to do is slash join Portal War, so we're going to head over there. Once you're here, skip the cutscene, and you will just have to kill stuff in here. Um, I believe uh, you have to kill uh, the Time Wraiths, I think they drop it. So if you go into the next room, uh, I think there's more Time Wraiths, but you'll just have to kill 50 of them. It's not that bad. They only have 20,000 HP. And if that sounds bad to you, trust me, it gets a lot worse. In this farm. <laughs> so after you have um, 100 of the anomalies silenced, you will slash join cathedral. And once you're in cathedral, you will have to break the source of the loop. And I believe uh, you have to just complete this area. And um, let's see here. Yeah, you you can um go to me. Yep. I can't remember where it is. Is it over here? Yeah, oh, it's over here. Yeah. So and over here you can here. go through this. And then Jolie you will have to kill the incarnation of time. And then that will give you the um time loop broken, I believe. So mm -hmm. after this you want to stop the metal and chrono lords in slash join portal maze now keep in mind for this area you will have to complete the quest line to get to the incarnation of time it shouldn't take long at all though it's very fast so once you're in portal maze you want to kill the um incarnation of time it's a lot of walking so i will cut to when i am there So finally, we are at the Chrono Lord room. They only have 4,000 health. Super easy. Kill 50 of them. Uh, honestly, it takes more time walking over here than it does to kill 50 of them. So that is how you get the Chrono Lord stopped times 50. So the final thing you need is the Is This a Wormhole? 
and uh, what you have to do is slash join you bear. Once you're here, head down here into the bear and uh, you have to complete the storyline. So I'm going to go to Raj. Yeah. This, uh, if you haven't completed it, uh, don't worry. It's really not that hard. Yeah, it's Pretty a Cicero storyline, so it's super easy. Let's see the enemies in here only have like a thousand health. So, once you're here, you have to kill Cornholio. And there you go, you'll get the Is This a Wormhole. Now that is yeah, how you quit. This is how you complete the through the Wormhole quest. And after that, you will head back to Yulgar. Once you're back, you can do the quest called Rend. Now this quest is a little more difficult. Uh, stuff starts getting a little bit harder. You'll need two dimensional dragon portals, 10 brutal slash studied, and 125 epic hydra fangs. So first thing you want to do, acquire two dimensional portals for your claws from the dragon summoner in slash join lair defend. Now for this place, you will have to complete the storyline. Uh, I don't believe me or Raj have done it, but it's basically the boss at the end and his name is the dragon summoner. It's pretty easy. You only need to kill him twice. So yeah. yeah. Next thing you'll need. The, uh, red dragon room. Yep. So go like you're going to the red dragon after you've completed the storyline. Next thing you'll need is ten brutal slash studied, and that one is from Grievous in Boonch, or however you say that. And that's just a boss challenge guy. So once you're here in boss challenge, you want to click on um, in bunch. I don't know how to say that, but you'll have to kill this mask dude ten times. 200,000 health, not bad at all. Uh, he also doesn't randomly one-shot you like a lot of the other ones. <laughs> so, now for the harder requirement is sharpen your claws against 125 fangs from the level 90 hydras in slash join hydra challenge. So you will have to fight the highest level hydras. When you go to the ferry, looking for a challenge, face the hydra, level 90. Uh, they have 200,000 HP each. You'll need to get 125 of their fangs. I I think it is roughly 100% drop, not sure, but yeah, uh, this one I would either recommend doing with a bunch of friends or using a single target class and killing them one at a time. And that is the rend quest completed, so now we'll head back to Yulgar. Alright, and once you're here, you can get to the next quest, Confluence of Fates. Now this is where you'll hit a roadblock because you'll need a Sword of the Voids, uh, Semiramis Feathers, 300 cross-dimensional weapons, one Starlight Singularity, one Collectible Collector, and the Roadblock, 100 Darkon's Receipts. We're going to get to that in a minute, but for now we're going to go over the other requirements. So the first thing you'll need is to battle the Dimension Ripping Nightlock weapons in Slash Join AQW 3D. Now once you're here, you'll want to find the three weapons, and uh, I believe it's in the Yield Inn. Yep, you want to head right upstairs, and here they are. You'll need to kill them 300 times, so technically, you'll need to kill each 100 times. Now, after that, you want to obtain the Sword of Voids from Ivalis, Ivalis, in <laughs> slash join Ivalis. Once you're here, you'll have to defeat each enemy in the room, but it's not that bad. And you'll want to make your way up to the top. So, we're going to head up. Now, it is quite a few rooms, but it's not nearly as bad as it was getting um, across in the other... <laughs> in the previous quest, where it took a lot of time. So we're just going to cut to when we're at the top. Yep. This should be played at high volume. Alrighty, so here we are at the boss, uh, Ivalis, and you will just want to kill him. Let's see. You want to obtain the Sword of Voids. Uh, probably end up killing him maybe 10 to 20 times. It's not that bad. He only has 130,000 health, so there you go. This one's pretty easy. So the next thing you'll need is to complete the final quest in Slash Join. Guardian tree. Um, once you're here, you know you want to do the entire storyline, and 
for final quest. Um, I don't believe. Do we have access to it? Uh. Here we go. Um. I, we do. What's it called? Uh, take down terrain. Yep. So if we head up to the top here. Uh, you can just go to me. There's like a button if you've already completed this area, just to like battle the boss. Yep. So you want to click on this quest, take down terrain. And you will get the Semerarmus Feather. I don't know how to say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 133,000 HP again, same as Evolus. So, not bad at all. So, the next thing you need is to obtain a Starlight Singularity from the final quest in Slash Join White Hole. Now, White Hole, this one can take quite a bit of time, not gonna lie. There are so many quests. Um, it doesn't show them for me, but... Uh, let's see, is there a quick way down or do we have to walk all the way down? I think we have to walk down, unfortunately. Alright, we will be with you guys right after we get to the boss. Alrighty, yep. so here we are at the Mahenzi Serpent. I believe you just want to accept the quest or kill it until you get the Starlight Singularity. Not bad at all, it only has 35,000 health. The bad part is getting down here. Uh, it literally took us longer to just straight up walk down here than it would to kill this boss. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright. Next thing you need is to recover a collectible collector from the merge shop in Slash Join Collection. Uh, this one's annoying if you haven't completed the storyline. So, first things first, complete the entire collection storyline. Then once you're here, once you have completed it, you can click on the chick in the window. Go to her quest and uh not quest my bad merge, merge shop. shop and in the merge shop you can get the collectible collector for 100,000 gold so not bad now the first roadblock that you will meet um of course you have to be level 60 to accept uh this quest um it goes all the way up to having to be level 75 to get this class i will put a footnote for that in the beginning of the video but um you will need 100 Darkon's receipts. Now this is very time consuming and very annoying. So you want to slash join garden. And uh, you have to complete the quests for this area. Yep. Pretty so fair. click on talk to Darkon. Once you're here, go to his quest. And there are three ways to get a receipt. You have the first errand where you need 22 bananas. Second, we need 22 ingredients. And the third, where you need Null Gas Mask. Now, if you are by yourself, you will want to do First Aaron. Now, um, there are multiple ways of getting bananas. You can kill the Gorilla Fence in Slash Join Arkin Grove, or you can kill the Gorilla Fence in Slash Join Tower of Doom 7. Now, that is another thing I should mention here at this point. Um, you will want to go through and complete the entire Tower of Doom start to finish. You will need to be completely done with it, um, basically, to get this class in the end. So once you're here in Tower of Doom 7, you want to head to the room that has three gorilla fins. And you'll want to kill them until you have 22 bananas. And uh, the bananas are not 100% drop. And I'd say 22 bananas takes about 10 minutes or more. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, you will need 22 bananas times 100. So you'll need to turn that quest in 100 times. So you'll need a lot of bananas. Banana stack to 222 though. Um, so yeah, that's the first method of getting your 100 dark on receipts. The second method is getting Nolgas Mask. Now, to get Nolgas Mask, you just go to Nolgas. You can slash house stew. <laughs> go through the Turkish portal. And I'm just going to quickly walk to Nolgas. I'm sure a lot of you already know the pathway. If you don't know how to get to him, um, I'd question why you're even farming this class. <laughs> or playing oh, yeah. AQW for that matter. <laughs> Also, uh, keep in mind that um, we're uh, skipping the second quest. Second quest, all you have to do is um, kill Karnax, I'm pretty sure, but it's a lot uh, that's not that efficient. So, yeah, we yeah, recommend. The second quest is a lot slower. So, mm -hmm. what you want to do, uh, this is the definitely the best method if you are with a team of coordinated people. You just run a Lord of Order and equip uh, evasion potions. And basically DPS the hell out of Nolgath. Uh, his mask is about a 20% drop, so you'll need to kill him roughly 500 times. Uh, shouldn't be bad though if you have a whole gang of six people. 
So yeah, those are the two methods of getting your Darkon receipts. You'll need a hundred of them. Now once you finally have a hundred of them, you can head back to Yulgar and turn in the quest. Um, that quest is definitely the hardest, or one of the hardest, if not the hardest quest, just because of the Darkon receipts, but trust me, it still gets pretty bad. Alright, so the next quest, um, this one is quite time consuming, it's called Dragon's Will. You will need 300 Unyielding Slime, 20 Omnipotent Cells, 20 Dragon's Plasmas, 20 Chaotic Invertebrae, 20 Cryostatic Essence, and 20 Salvage Chaos Dragon Biomass. Now the first thing, you'll want to get the Omnipotent Cells from the Void Dragon and Slash Join Boss Challenge. Keep in mind, uh, the Omnipotent Cells are not a 100% drop. So you'll have to kill the Mutated Void Dragon, which can one-shot you, has 400,000 HP, I'd say about 40 times, and then you'll have all of your Omnipotent Cells. So, the next dragon you have to fight is a Slash Join Underlayer, and you'll have to fight the Archfiend Dragon Lord. Now, um, if you have the Arch Doom Knight armor, I'd highly recommend equipping it for uh, killing these dragons. Um, when we did it on stream, I had Arch Doom Knight equipped, as well as um, I was using Arachnomancer to boost everybody else's damage. We were basically trying to kill these things as fast as possible. We had a party of six or seven people just running around to all these rooms. So I wanted to just go to the end here, and then you're at the boss. If he's just through here. Now this guy can also do an absurd amount of damage, but um, I believe from him, the Dragon Plasma is a 100% drop. So you'll just have to kill him 20 times. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that though. So uh, yeah, 660,000 HP, kill him 20 times, and you're good. Now the next thing you'll have to fight is arguably the easiest. You just run to slash join Chaos Kraken. Once you're here, you will have to kill the Chaos Kraken. 20 times, um, I think it was a 100% drop, right, Raj? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but, uh... It's a high mind, drop. Can one-shot you, too. It does do the damage. Yep, it doesn't have as much health as the others, however. So, yeah. 20 of his invertebrae, I think it was a 100% drop, if not a relatively high drop. Yeah. So, the next thing you'll need is the... Cryostatic Essence from Dreadfang in Slash Join Tower of Doom 9. So keep in mind at this point you will have to be up to Tower of Doom Floor 9. It's not that bad. Uh, the whole tower should only take you maybe one to two hours. It's not that bad. So yeah, this one can be mind. really annoying. Yeah, keep in mind you want like probably to have like end game classes be a high level doing this stuff because like Getting down here in and of itself is pretty hard, and then this boss has like 400,000 HP and can two-shot you, so yeah. Yeah, so I definitely either recommend doing this in a populated room on Arctic, or doing this with a bunch of friends. Yeah. So, uh, here he is in the final room, and these are not a 100% drop. This one can be the most time-consuming out of this entire quest, keep in mind. So, yeah. Uh, Dreadfang can one-shot you. Be careful, you know. Uh, don't give up, though, at this point. You know, you're getting close to the end. you already done your 100 Dark on Receipts. You don't want to put those to waste. So you're getting close to the end. Uh, only two more quests after this. All right. So that is how you get the Cryostatic Essence. And then after that, you will need the Biomass Samples from the Ultra Chaos Dragon on slash join Castle Roof. Now, this is literally the laggiest boss in the game, but luckily it's a 100% drop, so you only have to kill him 20 times. You click go to Ultra Fight, and here he is, the Ultra Chaos, 579,000 HP. Uh, if you kill him fast enough, he shouldn't kill any of you. Yeah, he has this um, little thing about him where if you get him low, he begins going berserk, essentially. He does more damage. Yep. So, uh, kill him 20 times, super laggy, recommend doing it with friends, of course. And then, you're done with the hard parts for this quest, the final thing you'll need is the Undying Slimes, and that's just in Slash Join Moon Lab. This one is a little annoying, because you need 300 of them, but what you want to do is um, equip a class. We would highly recommend using uh, Master Ranger, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. 
Uh, Master Ranger, very good class if you're fighting things that have 500 health, 1000 health, and you just want to kill them fast, because what you can do is sit in this room and spam your 2. And it's not 100% drop, so it does take some time. You'll have to kill the slimes probably about 900 times. But after half an hour to an hour, you should have all the slimes. It's just brain dead farming, sitting in a room, spamming two with Master Ranger. Alright, now that is how you get the um, all of the requirements for the Dragon's Wool quest. A very difficult quest, I'd say. Uh, if you don't have friends, that is. <laughs> All right, next quest is Burning Fates. This one is time consuming, basically. Um, you need 3,000 Fire Essence, 100 Acrylis Flame Tongue, 50 Immortal Embers, and 50 Ashes from the Void Realm. So first thing is the 3,000 Fire Essences, and this one takes a ton of time. I think it took us probably an hour or two. Yeah. It's super boring as well. So you just have to kill 3,000 enemies in Volcano. Uh, the best room to do it is the room with three imps. So we're going to walk up there. Uh, this room's is as well. It's just the Dwackles have a little bit more HP than the imps. But this is 100% recommend you use Master Ranger here. 100%. Um, if you don't have it already, you need rank 10 Sand C. Super easy. Um, if you want to use Swag Tokens, it will literally take you like 10 minutes. But I highly recommend you use a class like Master Ranger Vampire Lord for farming the um, Fire Essence. Yeah. So I believe the room is right up here. It's a little bit of a walk, but it will definitely pay off in the end. You want to be as efficient as possible here. And here's a room with three Fire Imps. You want to sit in this room for two hours, killing them until you have 3,000 Fire Essence. Uh, Use Master Ranger. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you need is a hundred of Acrylith's Flame Tongue. Now this one takes quite a bit of time. So you wanna join Charred Plains and you'll have to kill Acrylith a hundred times. So, I believe it's Charred Plains, yep. It's not letting me go there, oh, here we go. And yeah. Um, definitely get a group of people together, ask for help in Yolgur if you don't know anybody that can help you. Because Acrylith has, what, like, a, nearly a million HP? Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to kill him a hundred times. So, it says you cannot face uh, Acrylith yet, you just need to complete the storyline for this area. Um, he has about 900,000, I think. Kill him a hundred times. Um, like, get a party together, have Chronomancers, Arachnomancer, uh, Legion Revenants, Stone Crusher, stuff like that. So that you can kill him as fast as possible. So, next thing you need is 50 Immortal Embers, and that is from Slash Join Ultra Fedra. Once you're here, kill the Ultra Fedra 50 times. Not bad at all. Um, not nearly as bad as Ultra Acrylith. So, next thing, you have to fight the Reaper in Slash Join the Void, and you want to do that until you have. 50 of his ashes from the Void Realm, and you should fight me and kill him. 500,000 HP, not nearly as bad as Acrylith. I'd say the most time-consuming part for this quest goes getting the Fire Essence, then killing Acrylith, then getting the um, ashes from the Void Realm, and then killing Phaedra. So, that is the second to last quest completed, and you are now on the final quest for getting the Dragon of Time class. So, the next quest you have is called Hero's Heartbeat, and it is technically the final class you need to do. There's another quest called um, I'm Loving It My Way. Uh, it's just how you get some extra stuff. It's not bad at all. So, for the final quest, um, keep in mind, you need to be level 75, and you must have the Blade of Awe. Uh, link in the in description. Your yep, you just have to have it in your inventory. Link in the description on how to get the Blade of Awe. And the requirements you will need is the Mysterious Egg, Conquered Pass, Slug Butter Trophy, and Ice Wings Laurel. Uh, you'll need 100 Slug Butter Trophies and 30 of Ice Wings Laurel. So, getting the Slug Butter Trophies and getting Ice Wings Laurel is, I'd basically say, impossible on your own. You will need to do this with a group of people, or else you will want to die. Yeah. Um, first, we are going to go to Slug Butter. 
and that is in Tower of Doom 10. And it is in the final room, so we're just going to walk down to him. And yes, I cannot stress enough how much, like, how much you will need to do this with other people. So, please, please go to Yolgers, ask for help. I'm sure there's plenty of board level 100s just looking to help people. This yeah, will not be fun at all on your own. Ask around in our Discord. Yes. If, um, sort of free, we can help you. Yep, so you can join our Discord server, ask for help there as well. So, um, you're basically going to have to clear all of Tower of Doom, of course, to get here. And here is Slug Butter, 600,000 HP, uh, one shots you, use an Arch Paladin if you have one. Super annoying, and keep in mind you'll need a hundred Slug Butter trophies. Yep, hundred Slug Butter trophies, 20% drop. So on average, you'll have to kill him 500 times. It is yeah. awful. We got relatively lucky with it though, and from help with guys like you, viewers like you, <laughs> we were <laughs> able to get a hundred of his trophies in about an hour. Yeah. All right. So the next thing you need is the thirty Ice Wings Laurel, and you will have to slash join Ice Storm Arena. Once you're here, you want to click on this dude. Oh, not yet. You want to go through here. Click on this dude. And go to Warlord Icewing, and you'll want to make your way over to the end here. So uh, we will cut to when we're at the end. You have to kill everybody in the room. It's one of those. We'll be right back. All right. So here we are at Warlord Icewing. Warlord Icewing is notoriously very, very difficult to fight. Uh, he drops the most XP in the game out of any monster. So yeah, you'll have to kill him 30 times. And it's very difficult. I cannot stress how hard getting this class will be if, like, this class would have been so much more annoying, so much harder to get if we didn't have you guys helping us out. But yeah, uh, kill Warlord Icewing 30 times, 17,600 damage. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's impossible to do by yourself, basically. Unless you're, like, a god at using SSOT, or, like, you hate your life and want to use Yami no Roman, like, it's literally impossible. Yep. So that is very, very difficult. Um, next thing you want to do is very easy. It's just conquered past. You want to slash join Chaos Lord. Uh, if you haven't done this, uh, I'd recommend completing the whole Chaos Saga because there is a big spoiler on who the Chaos Lord is. Big and you'll spoiler. See. Big spoiler. <clears throat> the Chaos Lord is Stu. You'll just have to kill yourself. Um, you get the item. Easy, easy, easy. So, the final thing you'll need, this is more annoying than difficult, is the Mysterious Egg. And after you get this, this class is yours. So to get the Mysterious Egg, you will need to get a key from each of the seven deadly dragons, starting off with Wrath. So we're gonna slash join Wrath. Uh, did you say there's an easier way to get to the dragons, Raj? Um... Yeah, I think there is for certain ones. Uh, so, not, not this one, though. This one you have to walk. For Wrath, you just want to complete the storyline in each area, and you just walk over to the end and fight Wrath. Uh, key is like a 5% drop, I'd say. Yeah. Not that bad. 100k HP, 5% drop. Uh, not bad. So, next key you'll need is from Sloth. You want to slash join a Sloth. Once you're here, same deal as usual. Kill the boss in the end. Uh, we're just gonna walk over here. Ooh. This place and, uh, looks very familiar. Yeah. Um, interesting BBAQW lore. This is where we had our first stream. Yes. This is literally where we had our first stream. And here you go. You wanna kill the cured Flynn. Um, until you get the key. Yeah. So, cool. This is where BBAQW started, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next thing is Pride. Once you're in Pride, you just want to go up to the end. And this place is bringing back some, some memories. Mm-hmm. 
And once again, you just walk to the top, nothing too special. Um, if you guys didn't know, these were uh, all of these maps were a part of a weekly release that went on for probably seven seven weeks, I guess, maybe more. Yeah. But it was uh, it was good. It's so back when mm -hmm. AE had good releases. This was the first set of good releases in a while that they've had when these came out. They were cool. Uh, defeat all enemies to continue. We'll be right back. Alright, so here we are at the boss. Kill the Valsarian Valsar until you have the Key of Pride. So next up is Slash Join Lust. Once you're here, you want to go to the end. Go down here. You're going to have to kill the elite guards, and uh, we will cut to when we're at the boss. Yep, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at Lascivia. You want to kill her until you get the Key of Lust. Uh, once again, 5% drop, I guess. Not that bad. Only 150,000 HP. And there you go. Uh, next up is Greed. We went over that earlier. Uh, so yeah, if you're paying attention, uh, you know how to get that. And All right, so the next thing you'll need after getting the Lust key is the key of Gluttony. So once you're here, I'm pretty sure you can just click Fight Glutus, and there you go. 220,000 HP. Uh, not bad, but a little harder than the others. 5% drop. Uh, fight him until you get the key. And after that, I believe we're on to the final key. Right, Raj? Uh, yeah. And that key would be the key, uh, of, envy. key right. of envy. Yes. Then you want to slash join envy. Once you are uh, here, slash join envy. It's a slash join uh, malos. Right. Once you are here in slash join maloth, not envy. My bad. You can go and fight the guy. So I'd recommend clicking go to floor four, and here you are at Malith. So that is how you get your seven keys. Now, after you have all seven of the keys, what you can do is you want to go to the event map, go to Ashfall. Once you're here, you can click on this chest here, and there will be a little dragon face right below where the exclamation point is. If you click on that, it will open up the thing that lets you get the mysterious egg. So right below this exclamation point, there will be a dragon's face on the chest. You can click it, and there you have it. So now you have your mysterious egg, and you can head back to Yolgar and get the Dragon of Time class. Um, I'd say it's quite difficult, uh, a little harder than the Aw set, because of course you need the Blade of Aw. To get it and you also have to fight some very hard bosses do a lot of farming but yeah in the end i'd say it is a worth class uh it can farm it can solo that's all you need in aqw